Isagi Yoichi is an MC done right. He doesn't have any of the annoying anime bullshit tropes that gives him an edge over other people. Unlike most other anime where the MC like Naruto has the nine tail fox, which is just an, a massive chakra reserve or floofy where he's just a rubber man with superpowers filled in a gay world with ordinary humans. This is early on, by the way. We have an MC that constantly has to prove his worth to us, the audience, himself, and the rest of the world. He has no special talent with except one thing going for him, his ability to overthink and change his thinking process overnight, which he proves to be a superpower on the field. And this is the edge that he uses to be the best on the field. Now, you might be asking, who is Isagi Yoichi? Isagi Yoichi is a character from Blue Lock who originally started in like episode one, obviously, spoilers ahead. Go watch the anime, seriously. But I'm just going to spoil the whole thing for you. Isagi Yoichi failed at his soccer youth high school training camp from participating in the nationals as a striker because he passed the ball rather than shooting himself, which he wanted to do to prove to the world that he was the best. And his goal of becoming the world's greatest striker was gone. But... When Ego, or when he was selected for a crazy psychological program, guess what Isagi Yoichi did? He stepped up and challenged the strongest person out there, proving to the audience that he's willing to do whatever it takes to be the best. And the only way that can be done is by challenging those that are better than him. But what's interesting early on in the show is that he's constantly getting outed as the weakest link of the team, especially when everything is like lost, despair, crazy, fucked up. He steps up and shows people the path. I would say Barachia does this more than Isagi early on, but Isagi is the reason like what propels them forward and going more later on because he has no like Isagi has no skills outside of foresight other than he just copies other people. He doesn't just simply copy. No, 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 no. He makes use of his thinking ability and being able to snuff out like opportunities that other people would use to either dominate the field or just screw everything up we can see him legitimately suffer like isagi and be carried by other teammates with skill but eventually over time he meets the expectations of his team and carries his own weight of the team and battle even more and further on and he does this by constantly stepping up to the challenge constantly learning adapting changing himself to be better and constantly improving he does this so frequently that we forget how good he becomes he is just constantly breaking himself down and improving early on and battling other people. And this is what I think is amazing as an MC because he doesn't have anything better than to prove himself as the best. And the only way that can be done is to beating other people with talent. Now, I do want to say that some of the credit does go to Ego that for him to enable something called um, motivation. And like, I love how he positions, like Ego positions himself as a narrator to help other people out and create like this batshit illegal crazy social experiments. But enough of my tangent. The main reason why I bring Ego up is because like, this shows what real motivation looks like in the real world. It's not something that's just born overnight, not just a fantasy where it's like hidden potential inside of you that's just waiting to come out all of a sudden. No, it's born with the Ego that's built inside of you. And as Ego puts it, it's the reason you learn why you live. That is the true awakening in an individual. And that's what I love. It builds motivation in a realistic sense. It takes time to grow and for you to have the confidence. And the only way for that confidence to be established is to constantly keep challenging tougher challenges and to constantly keep winning. This isn't some lucky selection thing where it's like, you get lucky. You get taught by some of the best teachers in the world. You get you get this. You, it's not something handed down to him. For Isagi, it's all his efforts. And this is the one thing I love. It's Isagi who is proving himself against the world. And he's able to do so. And this is what I love about this MC. Another reason why I love the show particularly is because the main character, Isagi, we get to see him grow and fight in real time with these sort of hardships. And the two biggest ways that I can highlight these points every based on everything that I've talked about is by comparing him to two other of my favorite characters that Nagi the Trap King and Boro the Despot King. You, you get the idea. There is no better way of flexing an MC by having them be better by both raw talent and hard work. What do I mean by this? So basically, they work hard and they have talent. And so how do you prove an 
how do you prove your MC or Isagi to be better than both of these guys combined? Well, you just haven't performed better than the other two. I love how the author was just cooking in the second selection because he intentionally paired Isagi and Nagi and Burrow all in the same team. Two people with intentional polar opposite in both playstyle, teamwork, and just simply work ethic. This is just madness, okay? If you don't know who Nagi is, Nagi is, is specifically a creative genius who's just good at soccer simply because he gets the ball passed to him and he just does his magic. Like he is literally magic man on the soccer field. He just gets the ball behind him traps it specifically and then makes a perfect shot in the goal like he is just a mad crazy genius no effort no ego whatsoever so when his ego does get lit up for the very first time he tries and he loses what he's the main he's also a main character how does he lose well that's what makes it so interesting we see this evidently in like the showdown the round robin where both nagi and ryo took their first l and it's because isagi caught off and enabled goal plays in the first part of this season. So basically, Nagi, who is just basically egoless, and was like, dude, why are you even trying? Like, you don't have any talent. You you suck as a striker, so why are you bothered doing anything? And then just Isaki just snaps the fuck off. He's just pissed. So when they both, both their egos are lit, and they're both trying so hard, it's Isagi who wins because, like, he cuts off his indecisiveness, chooses him to improve, and he beats the genius. Despite Nagi trying his best. And Nagi is frustrated because he tried for like the first time as he puts it with an ego. And he lost. And so he wants to improve from this situation because he hates losing as anyone should. And so because of this he decides to join Isagi so that he can get better at soccer. And know why he, well I don't want to say why he lost but to simply get better. That's the way he thought of it. I don't know why but this is just madness i never thought this would this would be the, this is the dream team bro secondly i'm going to be talking about the character called borrow a crazy madman of a soccer player who's convinced that he's the absolute best at soccer and everybody must play to his demands as he see fits because he's simply that good with the weapons that he possesses now the bolt the dribble and finally the crazy 29 meter shot distance Right now, he feels no need to change his way because everybody else is not keeping up with him. And because of it, or how much other people plead to him to change, no one is allowed to order the king around. There is no doubt about it that individually Baro or Nagi in a vacuum would be seen as more valuable in the field. However, when forced to be put on a team that forces everyone to cooperate as a team and Baro isn't listening to anyone, it just goes to show how fucking delusional though this guy is that he knows co-op is the best option but he refuses to do so because of his own ego getting it in his own way isagi is just simply obsessed with this guy because he like wants to make use of his weapon but if he's just going to be so uncooperative just make him a sacrificial prawn and isagi proves this by making borrow a sacrificial pawn and just sacrificing him for his plays just a means for him to use and he makes sure to rub it in his face. Don't drag us down, Isagi says. Other than that, Barrow simply just collapses from the pressure because he couldn't keep up, he hasn't scored a goal, he's useless. And last but not least, he complied. He fucking passed for someone else to score a goal. Isagi, on the other hand, when put under the similar pressure or situation, did the complete opposite. Where in that same circumstance, he chose to break himself down completely figure out a new weapon, and choose to improve himself instead, change his thought process entirely to become a better player, and decided to sacrifice Borrow as a pawn. And it's during these moments of despair where Borrow finally self-reflected hardcore, during this moment of despair. Of course, he finally makes a comeback, and it's only because he pulled a classical anime MC trope of displaying a new skill out of fucking nowhere and dominating the field. But the main point here I want to bring back to you is that Isagi is constantly doing this. He is constantly going on the verge of challenge, despair, skill, boredom. He's going all over the fucking place, constantly challenging the best so he can be better. This is something that I find fascinating, and you can do this with your MC too. Isagi is always proving himself to be better than those others would perceive as talented, which is why I think the audience can root for him because he's going up against the strongest and the most talented of people. And he's willing to change himself constantly 
to prove that he's worthy of the high praise that others are willing to give him. And when he is outed for not being good enough on the team, which happens constantly, especially when put in a new situation, he is willing, more than willing, to rewrite himself by breaking himself down completely and build a new version of it that is completely improved. He will keep repeating this process until he gets something satisfactory. He steps up and conquers his challenges by taking someone else's weapon, not by simply copying them. No, 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 no. But by taking their mental discipline, tactics, and analyzing their decision making to make the best possible play that he can make. And he doesn't stop on trying to get better, especially when he knows he's being challenged and he's not afraid to back down when he is being cornered. This is what makes him as a phenomenal, great MC character, and I hope you can appreciate him too. I am Shock71, and thank you for listening to my video. Bye-bye.